Okay, so another way to farm fragments is by collecting fragment chests. You might be asking yourself, wait, what? There's fragment chests in the game. So the way you get fragments chests is on the Mirage Island. And each fragment chest gives you 100 to 200 fragments. Well, you might be asking yourself, what is the Mirage Island? I've never heard of that. So the Mirage Island is a sea event that occurs at random times. But the requirements for this is for you to simply be on a boat sailing far away from any island. Then there's a pretty low chance that the Mirage Island just spawns in. Once you get on the island, you have to get those fragments fragment chest very fast because the island despawns in exactly 15 minutes and this sea event can only happen in the third sea so if you're low level well too bad for you is one of the most popular methods in the game i'm talking about fruit raids because you get 1000 fragments each raid and as long as you have terrible fruits to trade in to the scientist you can basically do unlimited raids when you choose a raid you obviously want to choose the flame raid because the flame raid is the easiest raid to complete in the game and keep in mind the faster you do finish your raid the more fragments that you get and also last thing, make sure you are using the Buddha fruit when you do them. Okay, so this next way to get fragments is a bit randomized. And the way to do this is using the Death King. Basically, when you walk up to the Death King NPC, who is located at the Haunted Castle, you can trade in bones to get random surprises. And one of the surprises that the Death King gives you is fragments. And it is one of his more common rewards, so you have a much higher chance of getting fragments than anything else. The Death King gives you around 100 to 300 fragments on each roll. And it costs 50 bones to do one roll. And keep in mind that you can only use the Death King 10 times every 2 hours. So this is one that most of you definitely do not know. Have you ever seen a player walking around with a YouTuber title? Well, what if I told you that if you kill that person, you would get 2,500 fragments? I mean, a downside of this is that you don't find many people with the YouTuber title, but if you do, you know how to get yourself some quick fragments. Sea Beast Hunting is a pretty good way to get fragments. So basically, all you do is you just drive your boat into the middle of the ocean and just wait for it to spawn, which could take a huge amount of time. And since it's not the only sea event that can occur, that puts a bit of a random on this but if a sea beast does spawn make sure you kill it really fast before it kills you because the sea beasts are really overpowered and once you kill them you get 250 fragments but you also do get 1.5 million belly which is a really good method for grinding cash okay so this one is for you rich people out there all you have to do is simply open up your shop and just buy the most expensive amount of fragments that you can get your hands on but overall this is not that good of a way to do because i doubt many of you have millions of spare robux just sitting around Okay, so this way to farm fragments is with a Cake Prince raid. You need to kill 500 NPCs on the Cake Island and talk to Drip Mama. A portal opens to the Dough World where you can kill the Cake Prince. And every single time you kill him, you get a whopping 1,000 fragments. But if you do get the Chalice, you can awaken him into the Dough King. And that's the way you can awaken your Dough Fruit. But the fragments are also a pretty good drop off to it. So another pretty useful way to get fragments is by killing these two NPCs. Darkbeard and Rip Indra. But you probably want to be going for Darkbeard because because Rip Indra is the final boss of the game and he's level 5,000, which makes him much harder to kill. But both of them do drop 1,500 fragments when you kill them. And keep in mind that Darkbeard is only a level 1,000 raid boss, which makes Rip Indra 5 times harder to kill. Okay, so moving on, we have winter events. And during winter events, you could actually find an NPC called the Greedy Elf, who could be found through various locations throughout every single sea. And once you find this guy, you just simply have to walk up to him, talk to him, and then you can trade in candies that you get for fragments. 50 candies would equal to 300 fragments, and 100 candies would equal to 700. And the way you get candies is by killing NPCs around your level. One downside to this is that it's obviously only during winter events and you can't find the NPC at any other time. Okay, so this way to farm fragments is ship raids. Ship raids are a random sea event that happens when you're just driving with your boat. And if you destroy every ship on the raid, it all gives you a total of 200 fragments. But another bonus from this is that you do sometimes get a random fruit.